and for um, a like insert where we're not actually retrieving data, we can just do a command dot execute non query, and this should do it. We let's take a look. So there should be a fourth value in here one, once we run this. So let's run it. All right, it's finished running. Let's refresh this page. There we go. This is fourth data. Cool. It worked. Good job, everyone. All right. Now for the last one is update. So we're going to update let's see the second one cuz it looks really gay. Uh, so we're going to update it to something cooler. So all we have to do is just change this command text. And the real thing behind SQL and MySQL is knowing the queries you have to use. Everything else is very, very simple. And understand that you can also do dynamic queries where you can uh, put a variable name, say for this, say you like. And you can alter this whenever, blah, 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 blah. Just an example of all the cool things you can do with it. Okay, so we want to get rid of this stupid. Almost did it again. Okay, update. And we do the name of the table. We want to update, tutorial table. And we want to set the text equal to this is better second. And then we do a where id equals 2. Remember your tick marks. Okay. And same thing, command.execute on query. So this should change to this is better second. Run it. So get ran OK. Let's refresh this. Oops, wrong refresh. Uh, let's see if I remember. There we go, this is better second. All right, so there is a simple uh, select, uh, insert, and update, and how to connect to a MySQL database. Uh, if you would like any more tutorials, make sure to leave a comment on my videos. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, um, and head to the links in my description. They are awesome. This is Quackware signing out.